Hello friends, welcome to Firepower Threat Defense training video series. I'm Nanda. In this video, we are going to see how to configure site-to-site -site VPN between a Firepower Threat Defense to uh, any device uh, which is not managed by Firepower Management Center and the outside interface does not have a static IP address or its dynamic IP address. Let's see how to configure a VPN on the Firepower Management Center to a peer which has a dynamic IP address um, on the outside interface. So in this example, um, I have FTD running on uh, Firepower 2130, which is managed by Firepower Management Center. And then on the peer device, I have AC, which is running on Firepower 2110. Here, this outside interface has been configured as the DHCP IP address where it does not have a static IP. Let's see what is required to configure on the Firepower Management Center to establish tunnel between FTD and AC, which is, has a dynamic IP. So, I'm going to start configuring a uh, site uh, to site VPN. Uh, since um, for this, I'm going to use Hub and spoke. Uh, so I'm going to use Hub and spoke for though it is a site to site VPN. I'm going to use a Hub and spoke for this uh, for this VPN. On the hub, I'm going to add the FTD that is uh, 5.21.30 as the device, and then select the outside interface which is going to participate on the VPN, and then uh, select the protected network which is going to be inside network which is 172.16.10.0 so uh, on the spoke i'm going to select you know mark it as external net because ac is not being managed by fiber management center so i'm going to give a friendly a friendly name to this and then um, since the AC does not have an static IP address, uh, I'm going to set this as 0 .0 .0. And then uh, protected network is that is the network behind the AC inside network. So which is 172.16.11.0. I've already had this uh, object on my network. I'm going to select that. Click OK. The next thing that you have to do is set the pre key. So by default, FMC is uh, set it as auto pre key generate. I'm going to set it to manual and then uh, set the password, pre key password. Um, after this, we have to make sure one more thing that is crypto map type should be set as a dynamic. In order to establish a tunnel between uh, uh, to appear which does not have a static appearance, make sure the crypto map type is uh, dynamic rest everything you can leave it as default or if you want to fine tune you can do it um, rest rest of the policy that is required are access control and a NAT which have shown you on the previous uh, the other video where I configured site to site VPN you can refer refer it there I'm going to deploy the policy to the device next go to my AC and then configure so, so as you could see that um, on the inside I have a static IP address but for um, on the outside interface it has been set as DHCP So it is set as a DHCP, but it has an IP address 192.168.10.3. And then um, we have to configure the uh, VPN policy. I have a, a, con a configuration sample. So this configuration sample, I'm going to leave it on the description of this video. If you can use it as a reference.
to be a configured policy on the AC. Let's check the FMC if, if the deployment is complete. As the deployment is complete, all we have to do is now uh, generate the traffic from the host and test it. So since we have uh, configured side-to-side -side VPN between uh, FTT to uh, AC which does not have a static IP address and uh, we have used a crypto dynamic map on the FTD. We cannot generate traffic from uh, from a host which is behind FTD. It has to be from uh, the traffic initiator should be always uh, from the host which is behind the AC, which has the with the device which has dynamic IP address. In this case, we need to generate a traffic from the host windows which is behind the AC. Let's uh, generate the traffic and check. So I'm going to uh, do a ping test to the Windows PC which is behind the FTD. Okay, that reply is uh, we have seen. Let's go and verify it on the device. So I can see the tunnel is up between 192.168.10.1 that is FTD to 192.168.10.3 which is a dynamic IP from AC. You can also use this, um, IPsec saw to verify the participant host. Similarly, we can use the same commands uh, to verify on AC. With this, uh, we have come to the end of this video. I hope you enjoyed it. See you soon in next video. Thank you. Bye-bye.